This video reviews a couple of key tricks involving 3D shapes and 3D trigonometry. So we've got a cuboid here with the lengths 4, 3 and 5. And the first little trick is how to find the length within a cuboid. Now this asks for the length from A to F. So the question is wanting this length down here. And it can be called the leading diagonal. Now I know three dimensions and I can basically apply Pythagoras in 3D and all I do is I use the formula a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals this leading diagonal, let's call it h squared. So this length here is h, a, b and c. So to find this I just do 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. So 16 plus 9 plus 25 and that equals 50. So h squared equals 50 so h equals the square root of 50 which just equals as a decimal 7.07 to two decimal places. So the length from a to f is just 7.07. Okay, now a more challenging question then is the angle that this line AF makes, AF rather, makes with the horizontal. Now, within this cuboid, there is a right angled triangle. <clears throat> so if I, in a sense, add on this triangle here, this here is right angled. So I can use trigonometry, Sokotoa, to find out the angle which AF makes with the horizontal. And I want to find out what this angle here is, basically. Now, I'm going to present to you two ways of doing this. Now, method one. If we found this length here, then we therefore know the opposite to the angle and the hypotenuse. And what Sokotoa tells us is that if I know the opposite and the hypotenuse, I can use sine to find the angle. And here's what it tells us. That sine of this angle must equal the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So to find out the angle, I do two steps. Now I've got the 7.07 .07 stored in my calculator. I do 5 divided by the answer, which gives me 0 0.707. Then I do A equals, I do the inverse sign of this decimal. So I do shift sign of this answer and that gives me an angle of 45 degrees. Now then, this is actually a lovely answer, not by fluke. It's actually quite a carefully prepared 3D shape, okay? And I want to present a second method to also find the angle, okay? Now, suppose we didn't know this hypotenuse. Yes, we can find it, of course we can. But another method is to actually find this length here instead. Because I also know that this is a right angle down here as well. So 
I can actually use just 2D Pythagoras to find out the angle here as follows. So this length here, if I do Pythagoras, 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 16 plus 9, equals 25. So this length here is the square root of 25, which is just 5. So if I add on the 5 in here, this length is 5. So if you look at this, if they're both 5, this must be isosceles. So therefore this has got to be 45 degrees. But to show that, the other method is, is that's opposite to the angle, and this is the adjacent. This is if you don't know the hypotenuse. So opposite and adjacent, opposite adjacent is tan. So tan of the angle equals the opposite over the adjacent, and that just equals 1. So to find the angle, I just do shift tan of 1, and that also gives me 45 degrees. So the point here is that both methods, if done accurately, give me the same answer. And they're both equally valid and equally effective answers.